Hello everyone, so today is day five of week five of Make Cause Miracles and today is called the F in finance is for forgiveness because every fifth day we look at forgiving because forgiving is a really important thing for surrendering the ego's limiting beliefs and restoring your faith in love and miracles. When your financial fear is really high, you know, when you're really scared about handling money or not having enough money, it tends to come from some major event that's happened to you in the past. So this could be, for example, that you've grown up not having an awful lot at all and that's kind of had a massive effect on you now so that you kind of... you don't spend money, you know, you can you really spend thrifty and almost tight with money because you're so scared of losing everything. Of course, the other side of that is that, you know, you may have had lots of money at one point in your life and lost it all. So it's really, that leads you then to control your finances in a really unhealthy way because the fear just takes over everything. So <clears throat> the ego will use past dramas to create the chaos that you feel right now so in forgiveness lets it go you know because not only you know are you concerned about money it also has a massive effect on your feeling of self-worth because if you feel fear and lack of control about money are uh, because of our society and our culture are uh, kind of ideas about power and, and identity and self-worth are really tied up in that. So if you feel out of control with money or scared of it almost or your finances, that's going to lead you to attack yourself and have low self-esteem. So you can see why this is, becomes a really important thing to deal with and to get sorted. So this morning I had to read the following. <clears throat> I forgive my financial history. Today I wipe away all my anger, resentment and attack towards others and myself through the practice of forgiveness. Each choice I made in the past is exactly as it should be. Those choices guided me to this present moment. Today, forgiveness is my guide. I accept, release and forgive my past and centre back into this present moment. I let go and welcome a new experience of money. So that's kind of key, you know. <clears throat> There's no point beating yourself up about what's happened in the past because you can't change it, you know. It's gone, it's been and it's done. And every decision, every choice that we make in our lives leads us to where we are now. Now, <clears throat> if you're not happy with where you are now, then that doesn't mean that you can't change your future. But you're only going to change your future if you forgive yourself for the past and then have a different um, mentality, a different viewpoint for moving forward into the future. So it is really important, you know. The affirmation for today is forgiveness offers me everything I want. So that comes from A Course in Miracles. Um, and it's a really good reminder to release the ego's financial perceptions. So to release all the anxiety and the fear and the anger and all that, that just rubbish, just to let it go. She says, our ego makes us think we want a certain amount of money to make our troubles disappear, whereas what we really want is to be happy. So <clears throat> once we understand this, I mean, you know, money is important in our society because we've made it so. So, you know, we understand that we need a certain amount of money to live on, you know, to pay your bills and to get food and all that sort of stuff. But this magical thing of, oh, when I win the lottery, I'm going to be really happy. Well, are you really? Because if you don't deal with the problems that you've had before, they're still going to be there, regardless of how much money you've got. Happiness and self-worth come from within you. So in no amount of money, yes, it would make your life easier because you wouldn't have the same amount of pressure and stress, you know, over paying your bills and that kind of thing. But ultimately, you are still going to be you 
regardless of how much money you've got. So you need to deal with the issues and the ego's negative crap before <laughs> you can move forward and be truly happy. Um, finally, she says, the affirmation is a reminder that you're right where you need to be. Each moment leading up to this point has offered you opportunities to learn and grow, which, you know, for everything, not just money, but every kind of aspect of your life up to this point has made you who you are and you have you know, developed and grown strength from everything you've been through so don't be angry with your past forgive yourself for what you've done and the choices that you've made and that will help you to move forward with more positivity and more happiness so really positive one today really liking it so <clears throat> i'll let you all go and i'll do another one tomorrow and I wish you all an absolutely fantastic, wonderful, happy day. Love and light.